is this your milk brand? <laughs> Peak milk. Now let's analyze and find out what the manufacturers of pig milk are saying to us. The nutrients, the ingredients, and even the nutritional facts inside this portion of pig milk powder. So, this is pig milk powder. First thing first, you look for the weight. What is the weight of this? I have looked around and I have found where it's written that it is 14 grams. So if you don't know the weight of the pro product, you will be making mistake in interpretation of the nutritional fact. So this product, this particular portion is 14 grams, says the manufacturer. Then you go to the nutrition information table. And I said some provide it in a tabular format and some just write it out. So this is in a tabular format, which makes interpretation easy. And the manufacturer has given us information based on 100 grams. So you see why you have to find the weight of the product because you shouldn't assume that this is 100 grams. Of course not. I don't expect you to think that this is 100 grams. So the food product is 14 grams, but the information is provided based on 100 grams. So there is need for you you to cross multiply do you know how to do that it's actually simple now let me show you per 100 gram the manufacturer says it has 490 calories the manufacturer also provided information in kilojoules but i am using the kilocalories kilojoules is 2048 kilojoules to convert that to kilocalories just divide by 4.2 so the manufacturer has already done that so let's work with the kilocalories so the manufacturer says that in 100 gram not in this portion this pig milk product will give you 490 calories. So since the portion is 14 gram, you want to know how much calorie you will find in 14 gram. Am I correct? Yes. So what you will do is to say, if 100 gram will give me 490 calories, 14 grams will give me what? You multiply 14 by 490 calories, the value you will get divide it by 100 and it will give you the equivalent what you will find in 14 grams is that simple it is very simple if not call dietitians and we'll be very happy to interpret we'll do the cross multiplication and tell you what your food product contains so this 14 gram has i have done my cross multiplication before now so it has 68.6 calories what do you think is it high or not I don't think it is. I think it's just okay. So in this portion, we have 68.6 calories per portion, 14 grams. The protein content is 3.4. The carbohydrate content is 5.6 gram. The milk fat in this portion, not in 100 gram, is 3.6. 3.6. So that is what we have here. Now, when I plan my diet, I plan it based on a serving of milk. And a serving of milk, whole milk, that has all its fats intact is 150. So if you are following my diet plan, that means you can take two. Yes, because this two now is going to give you roughly 28 grams and the calorie content is 137, which is still not up to the 150 calories that I use in planning my diet. Do you like that, Shamisha? Michelle? I'm very liver. <laughs> so if you're following my diet plan, my weight loss diet plan, I use 150 in planning my diet. So that means you can take two of this if you're taking milk if there is milk in your diet plan you can take two of these so that is what i have for milk now for the ingredients let's see what the manufacturer says it has it says it has whole milk powder lecithin vitamins a b1 b6 c and d3 and the manufacturer clearly states here not intended as food for infants look for age appropriate milk for your child for your baby if you have one don't the manufacturer i did not say don't say that jean michel said i did not say it is the manufacturer that is saying that it is not for infants 
use age appropriate formulas for your child the manufacturer knows why they are saying this even dietitians know so let me not speak too much jargons here yeah? just if you have infants if you have children you will see that they have brands for children six months to one year then you will see one year to two years you will see two to three they all have reasons because their nutrient requirements are different what they need at every single stage is different it's not what you as an adult will need that your baby will also need so use age appropriate formulas for your child this for adults all right so Let's see another brand.